gunshot. Hard to tell above the clamor of the crowd. The president bent forward into his wife's lap as his arms slipped off the side of the car. Jackie saw A riveting account from Margaret Taylor, a woman reading from a letter left by an eyewitness to history. Live pictures now from Dealey Plaza, the site that shook the world 40 years ago, the place where John F. Kennedy, 35th president of the United States, was assassinated. That letter written by June DeShong, she was standing here at Dealey Plaza. She watched what happened, and she went home and she wrote it all down in a journal, but she never shared it with her family or her friends or her colleagues. It wasn't found until five years ago just after she died right before her 90th birthday. We see a steady stream of visitors coming to this site today, some to remember the late president, but others still looking for answers, not believing that one lone gunman, Lee Harvey Oswald, could be responsible for such a national tragedy. Kelly, uh, is there anything in this woman's accounts which are, are so fascinating, as her daughter said, it, 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 took, it takes you there again to that moment anything in what she wrote that would either support the sole gunman theory or add to this idea that there may have been some kind of conspiracy that the Warren Commission didn't uncover? Yeah, and an important point, she was never interviewed by the Warren Commission because she didn't come forward. But if you look at her letter, she does say that there were three shots. She heard one shot, then a second shot, and then a third shot. The number of shots has long been a controversy because others believe there could have been more shots and that other shots could have been fired from this fence here over the grassy knoll. The Warren Commission, though, found that there were three shots all fired by Lee Harvey Oswald. So her account would seem to bolster, at least in some ways, the uh, Warren Commission report. Kelly, we know the range of potential conspiracy theories from it was the Cubans, it was the Mafia, it was even uh, then Vice President Johnson. But what was it that the Warren Commission came up with that led them to believe that it could only have been Lee Harvey Oswald? A number of things, Andrea, and mainly, of course, that very famous, probably the most famous home video ever shot, the Zapruder film by Abraham Zapruder. Looking at that film, looking at the you know, eyewitness accounts, looking at the rifle, looking at Lee Harvey Oswald's background, looking at the kind of direction of the shots uh, hitting President Kennedy, and of course, one shot also hitting Pres uh, Texas Governor John Connolly. There was the single bullet theory, and this has been one of the big controversies, the Warren Commission finding that one of the bullets actually went through President Kennedy and then hit and entered Texas Governor John Connolly. A lot of people disagree with that, but that finding is what bolstered in some way the Warren Commission report that it believed there were three shots and that Oswald solely behind this and no big conspiracy that he acted alone. Kelly, millions of people visit Ely Plaza where you are right now. Why do you think there's still such a draw and such a fascination 40 years later? It's everything from the life of the 35th president, President Kennedy and his wife, of course, Jackie Kennedy. They were young, they were beautiful, a time of enormous promise and optimism in the country. And of course, what happened here 40 years ago and the fact that the conspiracy theorists continue you also had the movie by Oliver Stone in 1991, which gave a lot of credibility to the sense that there was a greater conspiracy and that it wasn't just Oswald and that there was a cover-up. And you do find, in terms of people at least who were not alive in 1963, the younger generation, they seem to come here just as fascinated, but many coming here because they don't believe what they've been told so far. And so there's this continued sense of trying to discover and will we ever know exactly what happened 40 years ago today. Kelly, by contrast, interesting, the people that don't go there, and that's mostly members of the Kennedy family, very painful memory for them, and, and one that they actually would not have, would prefer not to see so highlighted in some ways. It's so interesting, Kathleen, as we're reading up and, and looking at documentaries and reading articles, that Dallas is a huge city. This is not a small place. And the fact that really no major member of the Kennedy family coming to Dallas